Welcome. This is where I am going to be spending my time until this job has been completed. It feels like quite a mammoth task. I'm in the cinema room, which feels as though it's turned into quite a dumping ground. And today I am just going to get this sorted. I bought my fruit, my dried fruit for my Christmas cake and pudding, and it made me realise just how near Christmas actually is. And this is a room that we do use quite a lot as a family. I need to get it ready for that. Recently I added a desk area to the cinema room which I was using quite a bit but now that the temperature has dropped I need to make sure that I've got heat in this room and there is a shoe trolley full of lights and bits and pieces for the house that is blocking the log burner. So one of my first jobs is to clear the shoe trolley, move it and to gain access to the log burner again and then we can really get this room feeling nice and cosy. The rug behind me, this is a new addition. I put this up yesterday and these hooks that I put on are absolutely amazing. I'll put a link to them because they're just little clips and I didn't for one minute think that they would hold the rug on the door but they have and I'm really impressed with those so I will put a link in the description in case you wanted to do something like that yourselves. Where to start? The green sofa is really uncomfortable but I do want to keep it so I am considering doing that as one of my future upholstery projects. It feels quite a big project to undertake but I think I might have the skills soon to be able to do that which is brilliant news. That's staying for now. Generally, I just need to have a big, big tidy up. I'm going to clear all of this and give it a dust and tidy up. This is stock for my business. Because the room isn't being used as much as a cinema room as I'd hoped now that the girls are getting older, that's why I added the desk and I have taken it over a bit with stock. But Rowan is able to still come in here in the evening and play her video games. But really, I want to get it all ready and clear and then we're ready for Christmas and definitely I know that this is a room that we spend a lot of time in over that period. I'm going to make this my first job. I'm going to clear all this down, give it a good dust and have a bit of a tidy up and there's stock down here as well. That's definitely my first job. It's really awful weather outside so I'm actually very happy to be in here doing this and what's always nice giving things a bit of a dust is actually remembering what you've got and I then really love rearranging things and making it look a bit different. I really need to get some flowers in here. Obviously next year fingers crossed I'll have a bit of a cutting garden and then hopefully I'll have lots more flowers. Here's Mark back We've been getting Potters. another saw. Another saw, I'm your mum's hacker. Just found this. We keep everything that we find. So, this is some old wallpaper that we found on the wall. And actually, there's some newspaper on the back can we see any dates no can you see that there's actually some newspaper on the back don't think this has got a date on sometimes you get an idea of how old something is because it has the date on but i don't think i can see the date on this in fact i think it's an old book because there are there's 169 172 so it's the illust oh 
It's something about news, the illustrative news, calendar for the week. Hmm, not sure. I'll have a proper look at that later. Actually, while I've got a bit of space, let me get this out and sort this out. These are my gardening tools. Obviously now I've got my gardening shed, as soon as that gets a door on it, I'll be able to put my trug in there. But for now it's kept under here. After planting some of my tulip bulbs too early, I've now bought some more. So these are queen of the night. I've got 15 of those to plant. So later on this month or early November, a new animal print gloves, which I treated myself to. These are fab. If you like animal print, I'll put a link to these in the description. Just generally all my different gardening tools. So let me give this a quick tidy up. There, that's all done and tidy. And now I can pop it back under the table. Oh gosh, look at that. That needs a good dust. Whilst I'm down here, and I've got room up on the table. I think I'll pull up all this stock and sort through that too. Great, this area is all done and dusted. It's not styled, it's just where I keep my stock and I try and make it look as pleasant as I possibly can. This is my job for today. I need to move the shoe trolley. Behind the shoe trolley is the log burner and I really need the log burner now that it's becoming far chillier. We're going into autumn and winter and because I've set the desk up in the corner of this room, I really want to be able to use this room to work in. It will help keep upstairs warm if I can light the log burner because I plan to in the day use this side of the house with the log burner on and I can work, which then means that the heat goes up the stairs and heats my daughter's bedroom. And then in the evening, we go to the living room, which is on the other side of the house, light the log burner in there, and the heat goes up those stairs, which heats the other bedrooms. So that's the plan. I need to move this. It may look as though it's just full of rubbish, but it's actually all things that we've saved for the house. And I thought whilst I was taking it off and dusting it, I could talk through what I bought and where it's going. Where to start? Let's start on the top, I think, and work our way down. This is obviously a lamp base, just something I picked up at a car boot. I can paint it or do something with it. It does work, but we'll obviously rewire it when we use it. I just don't think you could ever have enough lamps. I really like the shape of it as well. That's just waiting to find its home. It will probably end up in my daughter's bedroom. Have you seen this picture? I think you have. This is a picture that the previous owners of Star Corner gave us and it shows Star Corner a long, long time ago. That's just a nice memento to have to see what it used to look like. Some old French locks. I've got a couple of those and these at some point will end up as a bit of decorative wall art haven't decided quite where they're going but there's two and they will just go somewhere hanging on the wall i love those very very dusty these wall lamps i picked up only a couple of months ago these were from a car boot and these are destined for the cloakroom, downstairs cloakroom. I will probably end up painting those. I'm not that keen on the, the wood, but those are a great find. I love collecting things 
as I'm out and about. It's all quite eclectic, but I just think that it creates, in my mind, a lovely, eclectic, unique home. Just a couple of jam jars with cinnamon sticks and pens in. I'll put those on my desk. Right, that was easy enough. That's the top bit done. picked up some of these clip-on lampshades which I will recover. I've got quite a few of those now so I can recover those and use those wherever I've got the wall lights. Very handy. What else? Ah, this lampshade Mark picked up at a car boot, I think it was last month. I've already got one in the window in the living room and now this one I just need to find a lamp base to put in the cinema room window. It could go on this one but I'm holding out to find something a bit different but if I can't find anything this one would work perfectly. It's really really good because I had already told Mark that I was looking for the rectangular lampshades and that they needed to be narrow enough to go in the window and that's the great thing about having in your mind what you're looking for when you see it you can jump on it now mark thought that well i've already always said i'll have to recover it because the chances of getting something i liked was remote but actually mark did really well and found these i don't mind those at all right. moving on to the next level what have we got here these were something else that we found this year. I found a set of really heavy cast iron legs, bath legs for our bath, which is currently sitting out in the garden. But those are fabulous, really the real deal, old, full of character. Hopefully we will see those in place in 2025. So I've got four of those. Do you know, I've been putting this job off, I just haven't wanted to do it at all, I don't know why. And now I can see that it's not going to take long at all. Although I'm giving everything a bit of a tickle with the duster, there's no point going overboard because living in a renovation is just so dusty. So I'm just giving them a bit of a clean up, but they'll end up covered in dust before we know it. This light is destined to go outside and I'm just waiting to sort out a bracket. I think I'm going to have to go and have one made for here. I was hoping to find an original because I really like the old chippy paint. And obviously if I go and buy or have a, one made, I'm going to paint it and it's, it's going to look quite new compared to this, but it will get sorted at some point. But we've had this for years and years and years, at least six or seven years. It will look beautiful when it's actually outside the front door. I just, I've, I've always hoped that I can find just the bracket at a car boot sale, but I haven't found one yet. I'll have to get one made. Motoring through this. Right, what's next? A random piece of marble. This is a random piece of marble, which I have to say, I don't know where it's going, but it's really, really lovely. We went and picked up a reclaimed fireplace on Facebook Marketplace somewhere in Norfolk. And we're using lots of the marble in the shower room. We're using it for a shelf and various bits and pieces. And this came with it. But it's so nice. I just feel that at some point I'm going to find a use for it. So I'm not ready to get rid of that yet. This industrial light switch, I think this will probably end up in the boot room. I've had that quite a while. That will be wall mounted. This is going to look fab somewhere. That was one of our first purchases. And another little single one, which is equally nice. We actually found this. This is a toilet pull or a light pull. It's actually a toilet pull that we found in the garden. So even though it's broken on the end, I think we are going to use that in the shower room. I just think that would be really nice to reuse something that has obviously been thrown away when it broke, but I think we'll use that. 
these wall lights we were planning to use in the bedroom but I think we may have changed our mind on that because we've got something else but again we'll keep them and hopefully that we'll be able to reuse them somewhere if not we can always sell them if you follow us regularly you'll know that we like collections of things we've got one hanging in the living room at the moment but what I would like to do is actually have these hanging all together Mark's sister lives in the Cayman Islands so we'd like to have one set to Camanian time obviously one to British time and I long to live in France so maybe we'll have one set to French time as well so there's one and the other one is further down Mark needs to look at these and make sure that they work he actually wanted to buy these and look at them so it's not just another job that I'm adding to his list here's just some magazines I think these magazines are all ones that I have featured in in some way whether they're my photographs or whether it's just a picture a son and daughter's picture so those are to keep gosh that's the next shelf done already The only reason why I'm emptying the shelf is because it's really, really quite heavy with everything on, so a bit trickier to to move. These are lampshades that we bought this year, and these are going to go into the shower room. So I think we've bought four, I think, in total. So two will go in the shower room, and I think two will go either side of the bed this was another purchase from not so long ago this is going to live in the kitchen we have a place for that in the kitchen very nice right I probably don't need to move these these are the oh these are the drawers that we bought that we're going to integrate into the master bedroom wardrobe so some reclaimed drawers I will just move those off let me just move those somewhere safe just drawers on the bottom is there anything in this basket I think there probably is let's have a look what's in here oh <laughs> these aren't mine these were Imogen's Christmas present lots of different vintage glasses so she's keeping those safe because she wants to take those with her when she moves out so those can be put somewhere safe and put back on the trolley when we move it so what's in this one let's have a look more lights I think yes these are lights that we're going to put how do these work? I think it's got a bit twisted. I don't want to play around with it too much. No, I'm not going to. These are lights that need to be rewired. The flex comes down here and then we will hang the lights down like that. So those are going either side of the bed and they concertina down. Mark picked these up in France a long long time ago we were meant to be selling them they're a Danish designer I think that that designed these we really wanted to incorporate these in our own house it's really nice to get everything out and have a look at it and this is another industrial style lamp which I think we're going to put on the log shed and that's it that is everything that we're stashing mostly lighting but a few other bits and pieces right I'll sort that out in a minute I'll move the ice skates which are available on my website I'm sure they will sell before Christmas and now I think we're ready to move the trolley let's see if I can move it on my own I've done it that's a job well done we can now have the fire on I'm going to be warm when I work at my desk 
it's looking a lot tidier. Rowan can still sit here and I'm playing her games. I can access my stock. That was a good couple of days. I'm really pleased. Now I just need to work out where the Christmas tree's going. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed a bit of an autumn clean with me and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.